Welcome back to Abra Knowledge Channel. Today we are going to explore one more new tool for all the statistics is AP tools. So it's a basically epidemiological calculator. This side, as you can see, I'm just quoting from here. This side is developed and maintained by AUS Wit, and this side is intended for use for epidemiologists, a scientist who research on the different type of diseases to control, prevent, and all that. And the researcher involved in estimating disease prevalence and are demonstrating freedom from disease through the structure survey or uh, this is uh, this tool is very, very useful. And you can find that in the hypothesis how, how many different tools are there. You will also will find it. For example, probability distribution, sample size, and all that you will find it. And let me quickly demonstrate to you about probability distribution. And again, you have a various test here. For example, calculate P and critical for T uh, distribution, tail uh, one, how we have in hypothesis for variable data, normal distributions and F test and, and then chi square and all that, right? So let me quickly check this one. For example, let's say, uh, calculate p-value. So we are going to calculate the p-value from this test r square, uh, chi square value, right? And for that, I have a value. In the past video, I talked about this particular case studies. I'll keep the link in the description. And I will skip this one and then directly go to many tab just to take the chi square value. Copy this data and paste this here and i'm just going to chi square go to stat and tables and then you have cross tabulation and chi square and i'm gonna select a to d and i'll keep like count and uh, column i think it's not required at the moment we will take it later chi square perform it expected value so it has given, for example, one, you know that one is full recovery, right? One refers to full recovery and uh, two refers to partial recovery and three refers to no recovery, right? That's what we have given here, full recovery, partial recovery and no recovery. And it is expected value is that actual value is 98. That means uh, the expected value we may have is 92, right? How to calculate in the past video, I have just done it both in mini tab and excel also you can calculate this one and by the way what we need to find out the value is that chi square value right so this is the value we are going to find out so in this one there are two things there are various method is there for example one is pearson method one is likelihood ratio chi square method both method i will do i'll keep the degree of freedom six why because so you have four hospital and uh, there are three categorical one full recovery partial recovery no recovery no recovery so four plus three seven seven minus one is six so this is correctly calculated what i'm doing it i'm just going to this side and uh, i'll keep this value 21.209 so 21.209 so we can easily get the uh, p value and then we can keep that six also as well as a degree of freedom. So it is uh, taking few seconds to get calculated. A result is now, the result is ready. So it is automatically calculating the p-value. This is excellent, 0 0.002, right? Exactly the same value we are, we are getting it here, right? Uh, and then more importantly, uh, it also gives that, uh, so from that, chi square value we have we have got that uh, p value and then f value also we have got and then uh, distribution also we have got a degree of freedom first percentile second 2.55 and so on and then this is the density plot for the chi square you know the chi square distribution is like this we have got and all that similarly what i will do i will also will do it this experiment for the other method called likelihood ratio method 19.091 let me key in maybe i will just key in here 
19.091. Right, so this is the value I'm going to key in and then I'm going to give submit. Now it is calculating. And now you can see that P value we are getting at 004 and exactly the same thing. Even if the PSM model, we got the exactly 0 0.002 or 17 and decimal values and uh, three decimal mini tab gives, but that has given four decimal, but exactly the same answer. And this is also significant. So what we are, okay, by the way, what we are concluding this one, P value is less than 5%. That means uh, recovery, whether it's full or partial and, and no recovery, depend upon the hospital we choose. And we see, for example, if you look at that, uh, only 32 is uh, the actual value, full recovery, but it had happening 45. Similarly, go for this uh, C also, 82, 82. But other one is lower and all that, right? So this is one of the C or D or both uh, can be significant. That's the reason it is showing this P value is less than 5%. And then we also got the density and all that. And uh, similarly, even if you use for any other samples, uh, I find it very, very useful. For example, let me do it for sample size calculation. And maybe I will take for single mean. Let's say standard uh, population is standard division is two and confidence level is 95. We can also alter it 95, 90, 98, 99 and all that. How you can do it in many tab the same way. And let's say desired precision, I'm looking for only one, right? And I'm just submitting it. It is getting calculated. And you can see that this required a 16 samples, right? It is automatically given that. That means we have to test this particular one with the 16 patients in order to draw a conclusion. I, I find it very, very useful for the, any medical students or any medical researchers. This is the fantastic link in order to get the exact uh, that, uh, exact sample size, not only sample size, you can also estimate a lot of other things. For example, these are all the things you can do. Uh, for example, you can estimate the prevalence value and, uh, and all that. And then you can also do that mean value and uh, a k-square, f test, significance value, probability distributions. And then you will also find all these value also as well. I will be trying to cover much more in future also as well. Please do like, share, subscribe my channel. You have a wonderful day. Ahead.